ambition is huge. I think we did it. Yes, I believe we did, Nina. I must give you credit. Selecting the perfect herb from all of our options was no easy task. <laughs> well, after all, it is my specialty. You have a keen eye. I forgot I even had it stocked. What exactly is that circle? Do you see the white part of this plate? It's filled with bacteria, organisms that are so small they cannot be seen with the naked eye. It's these invisible organisms that have made your villagers fall ill. As for this circle, it's called a zone of inhibition. It forms around the site where you place your prospective antidote. The larger it is, the more effective your drug is at killing the bacteria. Meaning... If we give this drug to people, they won't be afflicted by the disease anymore? Not entirely correct. An antibiotic merely eliminates the cause of the disease. Whether or not the patient is able to recover depends on other factors. Regardless, it will still rid the world of Helgars, right? <laughs> That's quite the medicine. What's more, you don't even need Iatromancy to create it. <laughs> Elena? Ray, a moment, if you will. What did you want to talk about? Though we only used currently available methods to create it, simply by creating this antibiotic, we'll be exerting our influence over the planet's scientific progress, accelerating it considerably. Are you sure you want to do that? We've already come this far. Why are you talking like a Fed now? Because if these people don't know how to properly use the antibiotic, it could give birth to a more resilient strain. The civilizations on this planet have yet to industrialize. They're incapable of manufacturing other drugs to combat variants. They have no means of dealing with allergic reactions to the drug. To be blunt, these people's understanding of bacteriology is almost non-existent. Handing them a medication that could theoretically create more problems than it solves is risky at best and catastrophic at worst. So we should let them die? Ultimately, that is for you to decide. Then I choose what'll save the most people right now. Sure, it's possible I could be choosing wrong, but that's for the gods and history books to decide. All us mortals can do is think. Think how we can safely help these people. Think how to avoid your doomsday scenario. Understood. Morning, Uncle Midas. You feeling any better? Well enough. But I'm much too old to go through all that again. You should count your lucky stars since your quick recovery is pretty miraculous. I heard. It seems I was struck with the rot. I owe you two. It's all thanks to Nina. Her many years of diligent research are what paved the way for this discovery. Without her research, it would have been almost impossible to find the plant that contained the appropriate compound. Filberto would be pleased to hear that. <sighs> Thanks. Well, now that Midas is back to form, I say we're eastward bound. Uh, about that. I hate to put a damper on things, but after the disaster with the first one, they've stopped running the ferries again. Please tell me you're joking. At this rate, we're never going to be able to search for Chloe. If you've the stamina, I know a way to Kato, and maybe her. Hmm? The trail leads from where we repaired Elena, and over the peak of Galcalemthus. A trail? There? It fell out of use over a century ago, so I'd be more surprised if you did know of it. Once we're over, we'll make for Mount Cotterinth. The herbs for your medicine can be found there. And I imagine the Kato Seaport will need said cure if we hope to see their ferry services return in a timely manner, yes? Then you will assist us. Thank you, Maester Felgreed. Stop. I'm only accompanying you because of Albert and Elena. And, I suppose, for the sake of Ada itself, it's not uncommon for the residents to visit Flatland Settlement. We should have the cure on hand, in case one succumbs to the rot. Excuses, excuses. Silence, whelp. 
Now, unless anyone wants to experience what I did, I say we get moving. The start of a beautiful friendship. He's just not good at expressing himself, but he'll come around. I'm sure you and Albert can both sympathize with his plight. Huh? The hell's that mean? I think I might have an idea. Ahoy hoy! Well cheer! The beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts! You busy? Never mind. Don't care if you are. I'm summoning you to come to my house in Delric Pooh's taste. I need something else now. Do you copy? Pooh's taste. Apprende. Tick-tock, tick-tock!